So the big story this week has been the uh, agreement between the Conservatives and the DUP uh, for confidence and supply within the House of Commons to enable the Queen's speech to go ahead. Now, we might know very little about the Democratic Unionist Party, but I'm joined by somebody who certainly does, Stephen Jaffe, who's the co-chair of Northern Ireland Friends of Israel and the Board of Deputies Grassroots Officer, a very good colleague of ours. Stephen, you know about the Democratic Unionist Party. Tell us a little bit about them. The Democratic Unionist Party, the DUP, is the largest political party in Northern Ireland. They represent that section of the community in Northern Ireland that supports the union between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom. And the Northern Ireland Jewish community um, has presumably engaged with the DUP because, of course, the DUP has been part of the, Israeli, uh, the um, Northern Ireland government. So how has that engagement been? So the Jewish community in Northern Ireland, Simon, is very small. We're talking about 80 members, and that's 80 individuals, not 80 families. But it engages right across uh, the political spectrum in Northern Ireland. I can't think of a single leading, mem leading politician that hasn't visited the synagogue or spoken at a Jewish or Israel-related uh, event. Now, the, community has faced, the Jewish community has faced a number of issues recently regarding anti-Semitism, attacks on the synagogue, a desecration of our cemetery, and vile abuse in social media. And the DUP, amongst other parties in Northern Ireland, has stood with uh, the Jewish community in the face of this anti-Semitism. Well, that's good to know. But uh, there's been some controversy with the DUP about their attitude on social issues. Here we are in Pride Week. Uh, the JLC has put on its website uh, an article by the head of Keshe, and yet we know that one of the controversial issues has been their approach to same-sex marriage and to abortion. How do you think their attitude to uh, these social issues is going to play out in the Westminster Parliament? So the DUP has made it clear that these kind of social issues did not form part of their negotiations with the Conservatives regarding uh, the agreement. The DUP comes from a... their heartland is in an evangelical Protestant uh, churches which is strong in, in Northern Ireland and that is that is where their issue their uh, perspective on these issues uh, comes from but as I've said they represent the entire unionist community which is now a diverse community its elements of it are more secular than ever before and it'll be interesting to see how these social issues develop and progress. So if they come from an evangelical background presumably the DUP has a strong supportive position in relation to Israel. Indeed they do. I mean, again, it's a, it's a biblical perspective. Many of the, the supporters of the DUP see the re-establishment of Israel as being the fulfilment of God's promises given in the Bible, and that is a, a bedrock of their support for Israel. There are other uh, reasons as well for the DUP's support for Israel. If you visit Belfast, you can see uh, Israeli flags flying in Unionist areas and Palestinian flags flying in uh, nationalist and Republican areas. And people sometimes ask, is the DUP support for Israel just a knee-jerk uh, reaction to the nationalist support for the Palestinian cause? I think no, that's not the full uh, answer. I've mentioned the biblical perspective, but the, the unionist community also is supportive of Israel uh, because, for example, uh, they regard themselves as being victims of a terrorist campaign in the way that they they would say that Israel also has experienced terrorism and also that the world's media is hostile to Israel, they would say, just as it was uh, not understanding of the unionist position in Northern Ireland. And so finally, how do you think that the DUP being so linked to the Conservative government during the length of this parliament, how's that going to play out in Westminster? Well, I think for our particular issues regarding Israel, for example, I think we're going to see the DUP supportive of the Conservative government's response to bias at the United Nations. I think we're going to see them have no track for boycotts uh, against Israel. So I see them as being a pro-Israel influence uh, over the Conservative government in the Parliament ahead. Well Stephen, thanks very much. It's certainly going to be very interesting with the DUP uh, over the coming Parliament. Thank thanks you. for being with us. Thanks, Simon.